Next on Worcester News tonight, school is in session and college students are back in the city, spending money and helping local businesses. Plus, a look at how some central Massachusetts stables are protecting their animals after two horses infected with Triple E are euthanized. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Olivia Lemon. A much cooler weekend across central Massachusetts. The sun was shining throughout the day today with milder temperatures. Let's get a first look at our local forecast for more. Yeah, a little chilly. A lot of us were in the 40s last night and this morning. Low 70s today. Uh, we have a storm pounding the coast in Nova Scotia, kind of trying to back in here. And then there's another one pounding St. Louis and there's a nice high pressure system in between. A bit of a traffic jam in the atmosphere with that storm stalled. I think these clouds are going to evaporate before wrapping all the way back down. So it's that front from the west that's going to come in next and that's not going to happen for a while. High thin clouds will fill the sky tomorrow. So we're waking up to 50s downtown, 40s outlying areas. It's another chilly start with a heavy dew in the grass with light winds overnight and dry air. And then you have these thin clouds coming in here, 65 to 70 in the Hilltops, 70 to 75 elsewhere, 12, 15. And the beaches, we've had a rip current advisory uh, going on for uh, big waves that have been coming into the ocean. But uh, here in uh, downtown Worcester, we're gonna be in the 70s tomorrow and the clouds are gonna thicken up and it's gonna be a nice day. These clouds are gonna yield some precipitation. It looks like some action from the tropics. We have to talk about a tropical storm and a tropical wave that may bring us some rain Wednesday, Thursday in a few minutes. Tens of thousands of college students are back in the city for the start of school, and for some businesses, it means so are thousands of their customers. Several local hotspots rely on students and say they look forward to this time of year. Our Chandler Walsh joins us in Worcester with more. Chandler. Olivia, a handful of business owners say their sales are still solid in the summer, but they start to see a significant increase once the end of August hits. The majority of Worcester's colleges have already had their move-in days, so the businesses are starting to see more customers. College students are welcomed back on Worcester campuses. Their presence is also celebrated at local businesses too. We're all excited, we all get ready for them and uh, we, we love to see them every year coming back. There's been an uptick in lunches, kids coming around, the parents bringing them to school, dropping them off, coming here for lunch afterwards. Boston Donuts on Park Ave says business soars up to 40% once school starts. They see an increase in public school parents and teachers in the mornings and undergrads in the afternoons and on weekends. This kind of business, it's kind of tricky. You can't really tell. Uh, sometimes you just, you know, it gets really busy or sometimes it's really slow. It's, it's really different, but it's a lot better when the students comes back. Down the street, Blue Jeans Pizza has increased their deliveries, sending food to college sports teams who arrived before dining halls opened. They have to feed all these young guys that are ravenous after practice. So a lot of times they're coming in, picking up or we're delivering uh, big catering orders. The city's nine colleges and universities enroll nearly 40,000 students. The Banner Bar and Grill caters to the college crowd. Bartender Michelle Gedman says trivia nights and DJs are a big draw. We are starting some live music on a couple of the nights as well. Hopefully that'll bring more, more of them in. The local spots already notice a difference in foot traffic in the city, but say it will pick up in the coming weeks. We sell so many buffalo chicken pizzas, we, we just can't believe it. We give them a student discount, so I hope they, uh, they like that too. So I see a lot of kids, you know, showing us uh, their uh, student IDs. The businesses say they see the real increase on the weekends and they're ready. In Worcester, Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight. Summer vacation is over for Worcester Public School students. They headed back to school for their first day today. School officials are reminding drivers to be careful when approaching school zones. They should be prepared to stop or slow down. Crossing guards in Worcester say they sometimes notice drivers forget to approach crosswalks with caution during the school year. There's a lot, a lot of traffic here. It can be very strenuous at times and people do get impatient here but for the safety of all the children and all the adults and everyone coming to the school we need to, to follow the rules come to the crosswalk wait for the crosswalk guard to cross them and follow the rules to come across the street safely 
And a piece of advice from crossing guards for pedestrians. It's important to remember you need to be cautious when walking by staying off your phone and waiting for the guard to give you the go ahead to cross. A 38 year old woman is facing multiple charges. Millbury police say she left her child in a car at the shops at Blackstone Valley. Police say 38 year old Sheila Parslow left her 15 month old child alone in a car Sunday afternoon. A customer noticed the child sleeping. The car was locked with its windows rolled up. Parslow was arrested and charged with reckless endangerment of a child in possession of a class A drug. In Fairhaven, the state confirms a woman has died from Triple E. Central Massachusetts has reported a human case and several horses have also tested positive for the virus. The Department of Public Health says horse owners should keep the animals in indoor stalls at night to reduce their risk from mosquitoes. One Uxbridge stable says they're doing just that. Our Erin Keating has the story. Lauren Vanderzeit feeds her horses, Tino and Tiny. The head instructor of Vanderzeit Stables says confirmed cases of triple E in horses led her to take extra precautions. We were very scared because it's right in town, so we just wanted to make sure that we were avoiding mosquitoes at all costs, just like people are. Horses like Tino and Tiny are vaccinated, something Vanderzeit says every horse that comes through the stable has to do. They're all vaccinated for triple E. We also take them in at four o'clock every day right now so that they're not out at night. With the town's threat level raised to critical, the Uxbridge Board of Health teamed up with the Massachusetts Department of Health. They scheduled an aerial spraying beginning on Sunday, but the cooler weather delayed the spraying until Monday night. Because the temperature was below 60, the mosquitoes are not active and the spraying would have been ineffective. David Tapscott is the vice chair of the Uxbridge Board of Health. He says the pilots determined the weather was not suitable for spraying. And they were flying around and people heard them. Uh, and they thought that the spraying was taking effect, but in fact what they were doing was monitoring weather conditions. Vanderzeit says taking precautions has affected the stable's hours, but says once spraying is complete, business should return back to normal. For right now, we're canceling nighttime this week. So once they stop spraying and we kind of get an update, then we'll continue. Erin Keating, Worcester News Tonight. State police arrest three men in Worcester after finding a firearm in their car. Police say they stopped a car for a motor vehicle violation on Lincoln Street. The driver and two passengers were found with a 9mm pistol. None of the three men are licensed to carry a firearm. All three are facing multiple charges, including carrying a loaded firearm. Demolition crews back at Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church today. The church's cross was removed early this morning. Crews continue to chip away at the dome of the church. It was built in 1928 and closed in 2016 after the diocese said the building was deteriorating. Crews are expected to remove the church piece by piece. In Westford, a man is rushed to the hospital after being hit by his own truck. The fire department says a 20-year-old man was working on his home this morning when his truck slipped out of gear and rolled away. He tried to jump in and stop it, but his legs became pinned between a tree and the driver's side door. The man was flown to the hospital with serious injuries. Local craft beer spots seem to be popping up everywhere. Worcester has five breweries, and now the businesses are teaming up to create a limited edition beer. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us now with more on the collaboration. Brittany. Olivia, the city's five breweries are teaming up for the first time. They say it's a great way to get everyone involved to showcase a beer all about Worcester. The city's five breweries teaming up to create a Worcester beer in a collaboration like never before. This is the first time we've done something that's hyper local, uh, something that involves more than one brewery and uh, something that actually involves a bunch of our friends that we, we see around the city every now and then. Redemption Rock, Greater Good, Wormtown, Flying Dreams and Three Cross are creating the limited edition brew for the Mass Collab Fest in Worcester. The coffee brown ale is being made at Redemption Rock Brewing Company and is expected to be ready in two to three weeks. We did what's called uh, mashing in, so we took the grain that the beer is, is made from and we uh, ground it up and it basically mixed it with, with hot uh, water in this tank right, right here. Wormtown is the oldest brewing operation in the group, opening in the city in 2010. Head brewer Scott Drake says although this is the five breweries' first major collaboration, they work together often. We all know each other, so if you guys ever need anything, we can just toss it on our orders, that type of stuff, or it's like, oh, I'm short on these hops. 
Do you have some I can get you back on our next order? No problem. We're obviously competing in a way, but we're not. We all bring a different thing to the table. Drake says in Wormtown's close to 10 years, Worcester has seen a huge surge in the craft beer industry. Up and down the street throughout the city, kind of really having a cultural revival in the city, and beer is kind of the forefront of that. Well, it's definitely bringing a lot of beer tourism into the city, especially now where we have this many breweries. Um, people will travel to certain areas just to go hop around to try different beers. So um, people will find Worcester now as a destination. The only way to try the ale is at Mass Collab Fest on the Worcester Common September 21st and at events following that week for Worcester Craft Beer Week. In the studio, Brittany Schaefer, Worcester News Tonight.